Nelson Mandela has left a legacy to inspire us all to speak out against any injustice. Malala Yousafzai called on Tuesday for a ceasefire in Gaza after delivering the annual Nelson Mandela lecture. The Nobel Peace Prize winner said Israel's bombardment of the Palestinian enclave had taken away the normal lives of children. In fact, many children have been killed, they have lost, um, and many have lost their um, family members, and they right now are just dreaming for the day when they can have those old normal lives again, where they could go to school and they could play on their streets. This is the right of every child. Yusuf Zai was speaking on the 10th anniversary of Nelson Mandela's death. His pro-Palestinian support continues to be reflected today by South Africa's ruling ANC. Last month, it backed a motion in South Africa's parliament to suspend diplomatic ties with Israel until it agreed to a ceasefire in Gaza. That call also reiterated by Yusuf Zai. I want to uh, make sure that we are listening to the voices of the human rights experts here and that there is accountability and ensuring that the international law is not violated and anyone who violates it is held accountable. Yusuf Zai survived being shot in the head when she was 15 in her native Pakistan. That was after she had been campaigning against the Pakistani Taliban's moves to deny girls education. If you are a girl in Afghanistan. In her lecture, she compared the treatment of women and girls under Afghanistan's Taliban to life in South Africa under white minority rule. They're going through a gender apartheid where they do not have the opportunity and the right to work, to education. Girls cannot go to a secondary school. A woman cannot do a job. She cannot earn for herself. She has to ask for permission to go out of her house, even if she wants to see a doctor or get groceries. This fundamental right of choice and autonomy is taken away from them. The Taliban returned to power in Afghanistan in 2021, as US-led forces withdrew after two decades of war. Yusuf Zai said the international community should resist normalizing relations. The Taliban did not respond to a request for comment on Yusuf Zai's remarks. The 26-year-old has become a global symbol of resilience in the face of repression. And she said that though not everyone is able to match Mandela's charisma and leadership, we can all do our best to be leaders and activists in our communities and to speak out against injustice.